Hey guys, this is Nathan with TC Customs, and today we're going to try to help you decide whether or not you should go with an OEM lift kit, like what we have on this truck, the Ford Performance lift kit that they partner with Bill Stein on, or if maybe you should go with a aftermarket solution, kind of like the Fox kit that is available for these trucks. Let's go ahead and look at the differences between these two, two lift kits. So this lift kit that Ford Performance did is very similar in the fact that it is a two inch leveling kit, just like the Roush kit is that they, they partner with Fox on. So up front, you're gonna get two to two and a half inches of lift while re retaining the same height in the rear. So they do both come with full coilover replacements. So you'll have a full coilover replacement up front and then you'll have new shocks in the rear as well. And so let's go ahead and take a look at what's a little bit different about these. So the struts on the front on the Ford Performance, they are a much larger diameter shock than what's on the Roush kit. This is a 2.65 inch diameter shock absorber versus the Fox kit is a two inch diameter. And another noticeable difference on these um, on the front is that the Ford Performance kit is somewhat adjustable. It's not fully adjustable like the Roush kit is. The Roush kit has threads that you can you can adjust the height with so you, it has basically infinite amount of adjustability on there whereas this kit gives you two options. So out of the box it's set to two inches of lift and then on the bottom of the lower perch collar there is a snap ring that you can compress the spring and then move that up so we can get it to two and a half inches. So really you only have two options in terms of front lift on this kit versus the Roush, you have a lot of different options. So that's one big difference um, to note on the Ford Performance kit. And then as we take a look at the rear, there's a big difference on the rear for these two. Again, both kits, you are getting new rear shocks, but on the Ford Performance kit, you're getting the Bill Stein shocks with remote reservoirs on there. And so you're gonna get increased travel with that. You're gonna get a more sustained ride quality with it versus the Fox kit just has a single shock absorber in the rear. Okay, so like I mentioned earlier, this kit has two different settings that you can put it at for the ride height in the front. And out of the box, we just went ahead and opted to go with the tallest setting that had. So we did set this at two and a half inches of front lift. And as you can see, I'll go ahead and get out of the way for a second, but it's really, really close to being level, but it's still, if you get a measuring tape out, it's about a half inch off from being level. The front's still about a half inch lower than the rear. Uh, you know, so if you're looking for something that is gonna get your truck as level as you can possibly get it, I'd say that that's a big advantage to the Roush kit with it having more adjustability versus just two options like this kit has. Uh, so you can get the Roush kit more perfectly level than this. Uh, but I will say in terms of ride quality for these two, I would have to give the, the smoother ride to the Ford Performance kit. Easiest way to describe these two kits is that the Fox kit, you know, that Roush did with them is a more of a sporty, a little bit stiffer, less body roll, a more controlled ride. Whereas the Ford Performance kit, it helps you make sure that you have a, a smoother, uh, more cushioned ride, more, more of a luxury feel. There is a big price difference in terms of these two kits. You know, this kit retails for $1,750, whereas the Roush kit typically goes for $1,350. So you do have a $400 difference in price. And I know that that's a lot for, for leveling kits, but when you're looking at full suspension replacement on your leveling kit, this is kind of the territory that you're in. So for that $400, you are getting a softer ride. Uh, you are getting the remote reservoirs in the rear, but you are sacrificing that, that full adjustability so it really just depends on what you want out of your suspension kit. If you want the adjustability, if you want the more sporty feel, or if you're looking for, you know, something that is backed by the manufacturer that has their warranty, uh, you know, you can take this in to any Ford dealer and they should be able to warranty any of these parts perfectly fine, no issues there whatsoever. So you do have that peace of mind with the Ford warranty. Now that we've talked about the differences between the Ford Performance Lift and the Roush kit, I just want to go ahead and talk about you know, what kind of setup we were able to do with the Ford Performance kit. And, you know, just like we can with most leveling kits, we were able to go with a 34 inch tire. So this is a 295 60 R20 Nitto Ridge Grappler. And this is on Fuel's new wheel called the Fuel Twitch. So this is a 20 by nine wheel with a plus one offset. 
With two and a half inches of front lift, this is this is really the biggest that you can go with this kind of tire setup and wheel setup. If you had a, a wheel that was maybe, you know, a little bit less of an offset, a little bit more tucked in, um, you'd have a little bit better clearance issues. For this to work, we did have to trim the front valence here, and we also did have to remove the front crash bars to avoid any kind of rubbing, um, things like that. Shameless plug everybody, this truck was built here at TC Customs in our Pell City location. So if you guys are looking for some aftermarket accessories for your vehicle or somewhere to get those installed at, make sure to hit us up. Call us at 205-227-0100 and we'll be happy to help you out. Again, my name is Nathan. It was great hanging out with you guys today. Have a good one.